The Lagos State Government admitted in May 2018 it achieved an average monthly internally generated revenue of 34 billion naira compared to monthly averages of 22 billion naira, 24 billion naira, and 30 billion naira in 2015, 2016, and 2017, respectively. Quas Africa claims that with the gross domestic product in 2014 pegged at $90 billion, the state's economy stands as the seventh largest in Africa, bigger than Cote d'Ivoire and Kenya, two of the continent's most promising economies. Alimosho area is arguably the most sought-after constituency in Lagos politics given its large population which it has used to determine the outcome of political contests in the state. Before elections, the area is courted by the politicians but has been neglected in the provision of critical infrastructure, social amenities and anything of note to indicate it is located in the self-styled center of excellence. The road to Ijagamo community is no road at all. It is a disaster, a pathway to agony and pain, better experienced than described. I've been here for the past, uh, let's say, six years. We have been going through hell. In fact, in the last train, that was uh, Friday, something that it happened. We were completely disconnected from our family because I could remember some of those that are working outside, they went out that day, that Friday, but they couldn't come back. If I, like myself, I was the only person in the whole house. My children, my wife, they are outside. In fact, the flood was so much that it covered all the plank, that you cannot trace the plank. Now, because we are in August break, that is why the plank is feasible. This suffering is too much. I've been in Ejagemo now, close to 10 years. And uh, it has been promises upon promises. Uh, in fact, just as we have seen earlier, though people are building their houses here, they are forced to pack out. They are forced to pack out because of the, the fact that there is no road and there is no drainage. It is both depressing and disappointing that the seeming prosperity of Lagos exists side by side a hair hole called Ijegamo, a hugely populated community in the Ijegun area of the state. When I set out on Saturday morning to visit a relative in that area, I never bargained for what I saw. Apparently, the unfortunate resident had hoped that the state government would look their way after rehabilitating the Ijegun road, but that was not to be. It's been a long time I built my house in this area, and the flood and road is giving us problems here. So all the surroundings is always flooded, since the roads have no drainages. The flood always enters my house. That's why I'm moving out of this terrible place. As some residents observed, one government after the other in the state since 1999 had made promises to construct the road, but year in year out, the same story of neglect existed. Perhaps they are only useful to vote during elections, but not good enough to be rewarded with the so-called dividends of democracy. They live on the margins with no roads, no drainages, no evidence of governance of any type from any level. We've been facing this very road for a long time. And we as a mother, we as a woman, we, feel, we are feeling the pains. During this road, we've lost a lot of pregnancy women. All our children cannot well be immunized due to the bad road. We are in pains. Go for immunization here yeah, is very, very hard. So we have to pass through a lot of stress to go for our, ch our child immunization, our children immunization. We have to pass through some water. The water in this place is very much, it's not an easy thing for us at all. Even for us to go to work is very, very difficult. The looks on the faces of the residents by the roadsides or those on the back of motorcycles the only means of transportation that move residents to either Ijegu or Ekotu speak volumes. Their looks of resignation to official neglect 
experience of three tiers of government without any governance that impacts or responds to their needs. I asked one resident if he still had hope in the government. It's like uh, hope is not uh, forthcoming because if successive uh, governments have come and promised, nothing was done. What is the hope that something is going to be done this time around? Some of the residents who spoke exclusively with Galaxy TV appeal to the government to come to their aid. We are only appealing, we are begging Sawolu, our able governor to come to our aid. You can listen last week that the metrologists, they said September that the rain is going to be heavy. And they mentioned Lagos State in particular. And that is why you see our people, they started packing out. We want to appeal to the governor and the government of the day that they should please come to our aid and fix up our road. The access to this place, there's no access, there's no drainage. How the Lagos State Government mounts its commitments to the realization of what it calls a smart city initiative with a place like Ijegamo on its map beggars believe. What is smarter than bringing the full force of governance to bear on people living on the fringes like Ijegamo resident by constructing their only link road? It goes without saying that the flood prone area is a metaphor for discriminatory governance in Lagos. It is debatable if the state government could have allowed the roads in areas like Ikoyi, Ikeja, Festek and others, though there are many more roads and deplorable conditions in recent times to be in such a mega state as Lagos. Kelly, Egiga, Galaxy Television News, Lagos.